Are we going to make it to the 2024 election? Or selection? Will, Amer will America still exist by then? <laughs> I have to wonder. Um, just wanted to show this here, start out. You can see right here, that's fireweed. It's just starting to get ready to, to bloom. So this will be real beautiful, bright pink flowers in through here and and uh, firewood, or yeah, firewood. Fireweed makes a very good tea. The leaves, you ferment them, you dry, you pick them, uh, ferment slash dry them, and then you can uh, use them as a tea. It's kind of a black tea. Um, in Russia, they call it even chai. And um, really good stuff. I actually learned from a Russian channel um, how to make even chai. So we've been making that for years. And um, yeah, so just got a bunch of sermons done here. And uh, so we'll be going, oh, here's one that's blooming. You can show this in a little bit better detail. You can see, hopefully you can see that. Really beautiful fireweed there. But uh, just have an old work shirt on here. So if you see it's faded and holes and things underneath and whatever, <laughs> uh, it's a work shirt. So, but uh, I try to keep up with things. You know, people talk about the uh, ministry of a watchman on the wall, so to speak, and now. It's just basically some guy talking about current events and things and or they have rapture dreams or something. That's basically what it is on uh, YouTube and they get their stuff wrong over and over again. And I always have to laugh too because they'll do this thing of, you know, that they're a watchman on the wall. The Lord showed me this and God spoke to me and all this other stuff. And they're using new versions. I think, okay, uh, I don't think the Holy Spirit's too strong there on that one. <laughs> um... You know, it's kind of an issue. You know, if you're the Holy Spirit's so strongly upon you and you're this great watchman and whatever else, um, I don't think you'd be using your new versions. New versions based upon a Vatican manuscript and a 19th century uh, forgery known as Sinaiticus. That's what I'm going to be calling it from now on. I'll be doing some videos explaining that in the future. But um, anyhow... But, you know, I do keep up with some things. I don't call myself a watchman by any means, but, you know, I do keep up with what's going on. And uh, just looking at this whole thing, there was a... Um, Ukraine attacked uh, some stuff in Crimea, the Crimean Peninsula, Sevastopol or something, I think it was, and they ended up injuring uh, 124 civilians, I think it was, killed three. And, um, you know, Russia attacked back, and some reports are saying that they killed as many as 2,000 Ukrainian soldiers, blew up a bunch of their equipment and whatever else um, in retaliation. And uh, Putin is preparing the nuclear triad, um, land, sea, and air, in other words, nuclear weapon systems and you know I know somebody's going to say you don't understand how nuclear weapons work there's a ground based thing and whatever I get it I have I honestly have not studied it in great detail so you know I can't really com comment on a whole lot of that there's only so much I can research you know I can't be the uh, guy that knows everything that's God not me um, but you know I do my best to study but uh, the whole point is the fact that they are getting this triad of nuclear capability ready and, and whatnot, um, that's not good for the West. Because Russia, according again to some numbers I've seen, Russia's got a bigger nuclear arsenal than, uh, than America does. So the deer flies are wonderful right now, in case you're wondering why I keep slapping myself here and whatever. Um, that's the problem with coming out later on in the day. Most of my videos are done in the morning. So come out during the day and this is what you get. Deer flies everywhere. Um, takes a little while for the dragonflies to get kind of caught up and uh, start killing off the deer flies. And um, they will eat them and everything else. But you know, the deer flies have their time that they are out and buzzing around and 
they like to go for the back part of the head back in here, which is really annoying. And if you don't swat them or get rid of them quickly, they will bite or it's not a sting. I guess it's some kind of bite or whatever. And it's quite painful. Uh, had one hit me right here the other day, right, right above my eye on the right side of my face. But um, I've been saying this for a while now, this thing of a pretext for war is what's needed by the West. They need to get Russia to attack. Uh, we need a Pearl Harbor, Gulf of Tonkin, 9-11 type of a situation. And the U.S. intelligence agencies can, of course, stage something on their own, but that's not as good as getting the enemy to attack, like in the case of Pearl Harbor. Because that's what unifies a nation. You get the people to come together against the common foe. That's historically the way that um, societies have done things. Um, that's just how it is. Again, I'm just stating historical fact here. Um, but <clears throat> So there's a lot of that stuff going on. And of course, the, this presidential election is now more of a uh, uh, low-class uh, reality show or something. The presidential reality show and um, what's the latest uh, Joe Biden gaffe? What's the latest funny thing that he says proving that he's barely cognizant? What's the latest thing with Donald Trump? Is he going to be going to jail for what he did? And um, is he, are there more porn stars to come out and accuse him of things? I mean, this is really what we have to deal with, I guess, huh? Um, you know, and the problem is, uh, you know, well, we'll, we'll get, uh, um, some other Republican to run in Trump's place. Who? <laughs> Who? Who else could run? Um, mighty slim pickings right now. Get off of the thing there. You probably hear bzzz. But, um, again, uh, life could change very quickly. Uh, we have this whole illegal alien thing, you know, and they're all coming in and, uh, what do we do about that? You know, what's what's going on there? Um, I mean, we're not seeing uh, any up here, thankfully. But I know some of you probably are seeing them all over the place and milling around and whatnot. And, and uh, you know, as a Christian, of course, you know, you'd say, well, but brother, we're supposed to be conscience, conscious of their souls. We're supposed to think about where will they spend eternity and all that. Yeah, I get that. But they're coming here illegally. So that's a problem um, because if they get saved, the right thing to do is to return back to their country. And are they going to do that? I would say most of them, the answer would be no. Um, certainly I'd love to be able to reach out with the gospel to these people, but they're coming for the wrong reasons. They're coming with a handout and they're, they're wanting to come here to live an easy life. Um, that's not right. It's not supposed to be that way. So, oh, <laughs> deer flies are very aggressive. So just thought I'd go for a real quick walk here. Um, but, uh, you know, what can you do? What can we do if they start to, if Russia's nuclear triad um, actually gets prompted to launch an attack upon America? What can Christians do at that point in time? Is there some safe place to go to? Well, if you can figure out something, then yeah, go ahead. Please don't come here. We do not have the ability to house people or take care of people or whatever else. Um, it's not that I don't want to. It's just that I don't have the money. So don't think, well, Brother Brian's got land up there in northern Maine. I do. I'm walking on it right now. So he can take care of us. We'll just pack the whole family up. And we'll just head up there. Uh, no, please don't do that. Okay, uh, that would be a mistake. See if I can get this little guy on video here. It's a hummingbird moth. See if I can get him. You see that little guy right there? That's actually a moth, believe it or not. So, I'll let him get back to his work, and I'm going to have to get back to mine. Um, I have a few things to do here today. 
So I need to just finish off the video, get back. Um, but um, if there's a safe place you can go to, by all means go. Um, if there isn't anything that you can go to safe and to keep yourself safe, well then pray about it. Lord can keep you safe no matter what. Little wild strawberry. So thank you, Lord, for that. Very good and tasting. But um, we need to pray for our country. Pray for those in authority that we can that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Certainly. But I think we also have to be uh, involved. Okay, and I don't mean voting because at this point, I don't really think your voting really matters unless it's on a local level. Um, they're putting out there whoever they want. We're not being given any real choices for political leaders. But, you know, find something to do. Pray about it. Don't say, Brother Brian, what do you think God wants me to do? No, no, no. You figure out what you are supposed to do. You go before the Lord, you pray to the Lord, and you ask God, what should I do? What can I do? Um, the, the pride movement, what can I do to fight against the pride movement and all the wicked things that they do? What can I do to fight against the, um, uh, you know, the secular stuff out there and whatever else that is trying to take away our freedom of speech or freedom of religion? What can I do to expose evolution? What can I do to fight against all the drugs being brought into this country? What can I do to fight against, name it. Uh, what do you want me to do, Lord? Here am I, send me. Let's get some volunteers from the uh, Christian church. And um, just sitting around watching videos all the time, that's not really accomplishing much of anything. You say, well, it accomplishes something because we're showing them that we're interested in hearing the truth. Yeah, that's true. Excuse me, but uh, we need to get more active than that. And um, Lord, what do you want from me? That needs to be your prayer. Where should I go? Where would you send me, Lord? Oh boy, the bombs are hitting. The nukes are going off. The cities are, you know, being blown up, whatever else. Um, we're being attacked, we're under attack. Okay, Lord, where should I go? Uh, Lord, I can't go anywhere. I'm not able to. Uh, Lord, please protect me. That's the kind of stuff that we're going to be looking at here in the future, brethren. Um, that's the kind of stuff that we need to think about. And uh, I try to put these videos out, not so that you live in perpetual fear, but so that you get ready. You prepare yourself. You read through the book of Jeremiah, the big problem that was going on there is Jeremiah was constantly having to fight against the false prophets. And these false prophets are coming out and they're saying, everything's fine, everything's okay. Don't worry about it, it's great. And Jeremiah is saying, no, it's not. You've forsaken the word of the Lord. You don't follow the scriptures. There's all kinds of evil in the land. There's bad things coming. There's bad things happening. Get right with God. And that's my job, to remind you of the same thing that Jeremiah did. That's what I'm supposed to do. So, um, again, even my worst enemies, I, all my... my job for you is I want you to think okay I want you I want to inspire you to think about what I'm saying to challenge you that's what I like to do and um, you know we as Americans if you're a, a loyal American and you say you know what um, I'm a Catholic or something or I'm whatever uh, whatever you're your belief, religious belief might be, or whatever else, or even if you're an atheist, but you say, you know, I'm seeing some things that are very troubling in this country. I am seeing what you're saying. Well, then let's, uh, I'm not saying to put aside our differences and just come together and be chummy or whatever. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, you know, lay off beating up on me for a little while. I'll uh, not fight against you as much, <laughs> maybe. But, um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but, you know, let's, let's just kind of focus on the real problems in our country here right now. And then we can get back to fighting each other later on. You know, um, 
I'm just really sick and tired of seeing what's happening in our country. And um, I think that we really need to get some things taken care of in terms of our finances here in America. And we also have to restore the rule of law. Um, any mayor or, or city council person or whatever else that's saying that it's okay for people to steal, they need to be kicked out. And rightfully, they probably should be imprisoned for you know, high treason against the United States. And we need to have the Constitution as our system of law that protects men's rights and says that, uh, and I know, you know, again, somebody's going to come out and say, oh, but Brian, the Constitution was written by Masons and all the, yeah, yeah, I get it. I understand. Okay, you can find things that are wrong in every aspect of life out there. Let's just tear this down and tear that down. And, and okay, what are you doing about it? Sitting around being passive, doing nothing? It's not the solution. You get to the point where everything is wrong except for you and your beliefs, well, yeah, okay, I can understand how you can come to that conclusion, yes, but you know what? Sometimes you have to just say, um, I need to do something here. Uh, I'm not going to fight against people that are trying to preserve freedom. You know, it'd be like me saying that, you know, I'm a supporter of the Second Amendment, which I am. And that means that everybody in the Second Amendment is a godly, righteous you know, man or woman. Well, that's not true. There's a lot of very wicked people that defend the Second Amendment. What do I think about that? Well, good for them. I'm going to defend their right to defend the Second Amendment. And, um, you know, an armed society is a polite society. Uh, I don't have to agree with them on everything. Uh, as a Christian, you know, you have to look at things and say, I live in a secular world and I can't expect to have it be everybody be saved and everybody understand the gospel and whatever else that's not the truth right now uh, the truth of the matter is that we have uh, some things we struggle with and you know this political environment here in America right now is getting really messed up and the division that's coming to this country is what's going to tear this nation down uh, the sin uh, that's there, that's unrepentant sin, which has led to division, and that's going to destroy this nation. You know, people used to be able to get along a lot better. Now that's not the case. That's a shame. So, enough said. I've uh, talked enough, ranted enough. I need to get some things done now. Just want to put something out there. Just say, quite frankly, brethren, um, we might not make it to the election. Uh, the way things are going, the way that God should judge this country, uh, there's a chance we won't even make it to the election. And if we don't, uh, don't get all upset at the Lord and, oh God, why, why? You know, you say, okay, Lord, what should I do now? I understand why you made thing these things happen. I understand why stuff is falling apart the way that it has. I get it. And um, what should I do? What should I do? Say it more clearly. So that is going to be it. Thank you for watching.